So in class and in the last video, we reviewed the different forms you could use to write the equation of a line. We're going to focus most of the time in this class on point slope form. So we'll do a little practice here. These are four separate problems. Sometimes I've had students think that A, B, C, and D should all describe the same line. That's not possible. We want to write the equation of a line that goes through two, negative 2, comma 4 and has slope 7 16 So I'm going to write y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. I've been asked to leave my answer in point slope form, so I'm going to write y minus 4 equals 7 16 x minus negative 2. I'm going to end up writing x plus 2. That was x minus negative 2. That's one big plus sign, x plus 2. Okay, so I'm not trying to trick you. These, you might actually, you definitely will. You're going to have problems where you're going to need to write the equation of a line. And you're going to do a bunch of calculus to figure out the slope, like we've been working in class on figuring out a slope. So they're going to test that you did that part right by having you write the equation of a line. They'll give you a point, and they're just checking to make sure that you figured out the slope right and you put it in the right spot. So, no, no trick. Uh, for letter B, if I want to write a line parallel to this one, I'm going to have to figure out the slope of this line. I'm going to isolate the y. So I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. Gives me negative 3y equals negative 5x plus 3. I'm going to divide every term in that equation by negative 3 to get y equals negative 5 over negative 3x. And having this positive 3 is going to get divided by negative 3. It leaves me with negative 1. So this is negative 5 over negative 3. Now that I've changed my equation into slope-intercept form, if you know a rule about looking at standard form and figuring out the slope, it's good. Use the rule. It works. It's fine. Um, so I have negative 5 over negative 3, which is regular positive 5. Thirds is the slope of the line that was given, which means since my line's supposed to be parallel, it also has to have slope 5 thirds. And I've already been told that the ordered pair I need is negative 2 comma 4. So I would write y minus 4 equals 5 thirds times the quantity x plus 2. Final answer, because I've been asked to leave my answer in point slope form. When you get to letter C, we have a little extra work to do because we don't have... There's no shortcut to finding the slope. I'm going to have to use the ordered pair I have. And I'm going to have to use the ordered pair that was given. It's my job to know that the origin is 0, comma 0. And I'm going to use my formula for finding slope. So I'm going to think of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm actually going to subtract this direction. So 4 minus 0, I'm going to write m equals 4 minus 0 over negative 2 minus 0. Let's just erase that. That was me underlining the word origin. Let's put it back. So that's positive 4 over negative 2, which is negative 2. So now that I know my slope is negative 2, I know the y-intercept because my line contains the point zero, 0, So I could write slope-intercept form if I wanted, just as easily. But my instructions are to leave my answer in point-slope form. So I'm going to write y minus 4 equals negative 2 times the quantity x plus 2. Final answer. Okay. Now... I need to write the equation of a line that is parallel to the y-axis. Here's the y-axis. It's a vertical line. That means it has an equation that starts with x equals. Every single ordered pair on the y-axis has the x-coordinate 0. So the y-axis has equation x equals 0. 
And what that means to me is I need to write the equation of another vertical line because if I have a vertical line, then any line that is parallel to it also must be vertical. That means I'm going to look here, I'm going to find the x-coordinate, and I'm going to know that the equation of the line they've asked for is x equals negative 2. Final answer. So if you look at the rest of this paper on the back, there's four questions that are pretty similar to the four that I just went over. I'm going to ask you to do your best on those. This is a new ordered pair, and remember that these... It's not the case that you're supposed to try to make A, B, C, and D all gel into one line. The four separate problems, you're going to try to write point-slope form probably for at least three of them. And then if you look down at the bottom of this page, so this is a challenging question, but we're calculus scholars, so you're going to rise to the challenge. My suggestion is that you start by writing two ordered pairs, and then you treat this like this problem, letter C above. You have two ordered pairs. Can you write the equation of the line that contains them? Start by finding slope, then pick one of the two points so that you can write point slope form. Okay, so once you have the formula written, once you have an equation that relates centigrade, Celsius, and Fahrenheit, then um, Parts B and C are sort of just like a little math review. Don't get too stressed out about them. We'll review our answers in class on Monday. And then on Monday, we will take a look at this assignment from your textbook. You do not have to bring your textbook. We have those class sets. and We can get enough books that you don't have to worry about carrying it back and forth. So if you do your best to finish the problems that are printed on that page, we'll work on the textbook stuff when we get to class on have a good weekend.